So it's a little bit late. You guys up to anything special before you head into bed or just? I'm going to give that mistletoe a little look. I'm going to do a nature check. <laughs> Six. Um, with my limited knowledge of like herbology and stuff like that, uh, from what we found in the the, the hut, is, is this like planted like ritualistically or is it? You know, something that um, seems like overly deliberate, uh, deliberate, and if is there any inkling to what that may be? From what you can tell right now, no, not quite. It's been tended and taken very good care of. It's not something you've seen around, not only the forest but kind of this region. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm going to pick a bunch of it and it's pretty. You could sell it. Well, my thinking was I'm going to, the mistletoe, like these bears attacked this guy and whatever the vines were that were, it was like, you know, a mind control or some kind of spell. Someone wanted this guy dead. I, I think, um, it seems pretty deliberate. Plus this is kind of like the first, those those are kind of the first animals we've seen in a in a while. So I'm thinking since this was taken so well or taken care of so well that maybe the mistletoe has to do with something like important to where maybe we should like carry it on us as I don't know if it was like some kind of ward against stuff or I don't know what I'm thinking. But I think it, it must have been important for this guy to plant so much of it. It can't hurt, right? It's just mistletoe. Yeah. As far as we know. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm just going to, I'm going to take some, um, kind of weave some sprigs together and make like, I don't know, like a little pseudo charm and give it to everybody. Um, just in case, kind of, you know, there's, it was planted, like I said, planted very deliberately and in kind of a big quantity. So if it is some kind of warding against anything going on, um, everybody will kind of be protected. And if not, it's just a little mistletoe charm, a little friendship bracelet for everybody. As for me, before we go to bed, I'm going to read a book. Which book you going to read? That's a good question. I've been trying to figure out which one I want. I'm going to ask you guys what you think I should read. Um <laughs> We have this one about the Shattering War. I could go through Komar's uh, journal and see what I can pick in and out of that. Or I could learn about conjuring demons and devils. <laughs> <laughs> Which that one just seems really interesting. So practically speaking, I think um, probably Komar's journal. Just see if you can get anything else out of that. Because we're still sort of in the middle of that whole situation. Demons are really cool though. Well, all right, I guess. You sure you don't want to learn about how to summon a demon? I don't want you to learn about how to summon a demon. I'll just save that one for tomorrow night. Um, for, the, <laughs> for the night, I'll just read through some of Komar's stuff and see what what was going on. I'm going to set up my sleeping bag right up next to Jerry. Like, read me a bedtime story. I'm kind of uh, next to him. Like, my head on his thigh as he... <laughs> I guess I will read aloud the <laughs> personal journal of Kamar. It's like the weight of a bowling ball on your leg. <laughs> Jerry, mm -hmm. roll me an intelligence check with advantage, please. Oh, boy. Natural 20. Oh. <laughs> Is this the never ending journal? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Never ending journal. <laughs> la 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 la. So, uh, go ahead. 
Under the distraction she came to me, the Empress, or what was left of her, madness had gripped her during her exile, and she crossed the continent. Stillborn after stillborn haunted. Wow, this is not a good bedtime story. Tell more, I don't know about this. Uh, each pitiful malformation she gave birth to in time sapped her strength and her sanity. Jesus Christ. She had an unhealthy attachment to her. You know, I got another <laughs> book here. Um, it's a, it's like a, I think this is a bedtime story, actually. No, no, no. Keep, no, no, keep, keep going with that one. It's fine. Are, are yeah, you sure? It's, okay. It's going to make me really sad. But she, she had an unhealthy attachment to her firstborn who traveled with her. Fear gripped her. Fear that he would be the only child she would ever know. Jesus. I don't know that I really want to read this before I go to sleep. <laughs> uh, well, that's depressing. Uh. <laughs> do, you, um, do you think that was the elf? That we found. How much of the background story does everybody know? Like, um, as far as the Shattering Empire, like the knowledge of the king and all that stuff. How much of that is common knowledge? A, a good bit of it is is common knowledge about the emperor and how his wife, the empress, ran with their firstborn, and while she was with child. Or was her race a common knowledge thing? To some degree, yes. It was more of a wedding, uh, a marriage of necessity right. rather than love. I'm going to pull out that chainmail dress uh, that I have. Is there any type of royal insignia <laughs> anywhere? Or no, come to think of it now? Not per se, but the... On or around the top of it, where it would be around her neck, is just it's gorgeous. The amount of detail woven to this it would not be something commonly found. Fuck. Um, guys. Yes, Tomo. I think we defiled the old empress. Oh, so you mean grave robbing is a bad idea? I hmm. was doing it for survival, trying to protect you guys. So <laughs> I don't need you to rub it in my face, or Doc. We made a bomb out of the Empress's head. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna <laughs> leave that part out, um, just because uh, uh, it would make sense. I mean, just from that little excerpt that Jerry read, if the Empress was trying to find find him and i mean this isn't a normal dress by any means and the race fits do you, do you guys think that was the old empress from uh, 200 years ago it seems a possibility so we knocked down the burial tomb of the empress Shit. and we have an egg does, that was in her tomb does that egg is there anything about that egg jerry well uh I was going over some things the other night, and I'm pretty sure it's not a dragon egg. But other than that, I don't know much about it. You still have the crystals kind of around it, right? No? That was while it was in your bag. Yeah, no, I've just got it sitting. I mean, it seemed to, like, rejuvenate a little bit with the crystals. All right? I still have two orange crystals, if you want to put him on it or well to be honest i'm not sure that hatching it's the best idea especially not right now right that makes sense we got um i think we're not done with this whole elon thing what do you mean well we killed him sure but timothy was worried about the altar he said it was already weakened and I think we're still going to have to deal with some of the rippling effects of what he's done here. Like whatever infestation took over those bears. Mm -hmm. Those things are fucking creepy. <laughs> 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 oh, do you still have the uh, sending stone, Jay? Uh, did you do that? You haven't done that in, like today, have you? I think I did it yesterday, but not today. Yeah, correct. Did something yesterday. So I guess I can go ahead and 
bring them up to speed. Should we actually uh, like push for some sort of like group of people to come in and try to dig out that spire yeah. so we can get back down to Nim? I mean, yeah, we, I, I, I pro- pretty much accepted. I mean, he's dead, right? Everybody's kind of on the same page of that. Yeah. Because he, he came to me in a death vision. And <laughs> we just haven't really set yeah, it as yeah. like a party yet. Just just because I don't want to. But I think we're all under the same understanding that <laughs> poor guy. Might be better to leave everything buried, right? Like all the gateways and stuff that are down there. Well, the gateway's destroyed. so Or maybe not. That's a problem for them to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to agonize about it. Um, I'm going to go to bed. you terribly, terribly depressed now. <laughs> and I'm just going to do a little, couple little tears, cry myself to sleep. Poor Jerry's leg, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my leg. Yeah, you're gonna, you're not gonna feel that in the morning. So I guess this time I'm telling them, hey, we're taking a little bit longer in the woods. Um, weird stuff's happening with the animals. Yeah, definitely mentioned the vines. That was weird. Um, but we're gonna try to get back. I would um, also have them loop in Brother Aaron again because uh, he might know something about what's going on with the vines. Right. Okay. Okay. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. They, they, they know. Whatever you say, I'll tell them. So. <laughs> About maybe two hours have gone by before you start hearing some rustling kind of around you. There's still a few embers left in the fire that you guys made not long ago, technically casting long shadows around you. The noise starts getting closer. Footsteps, almost. Almost like there's a third leg. Uh, Bum, bum, bum. Pause. Bum, bum, bum. And it just slowly starts getting closer. Which way is the noise coming from? It's coming from a kind of northwest direction. Is there something that I could place between me and that, like kind of hide behind so I could see what's going on before making some sort of decision? Not really. The opening you're in, the druid who lived here previously kind of, you know, opened up this space. Well, then I guess up and at him. I'm on my feet with my staff. (laughs) Who goes there? Come any closer and, and you'll die. <laughs> I'm not in the fucking mood right now. <laughs> Had a scary bedtime story. <laughs> so I'm going to bend over. I'm going to pull up like a handful of grass. I'm going to crush it in my hand a little bit. And blow it into the wind. At the same time, that's going to cast manipulate fire. And... I'm going to change the flames of the bonfire to be black. Like a dark purple black with a goat's head inside of it. Like the flames are going to kind of shape into a goat's head. Jerry, did you read the demon book? (laughs) No. Uh, I'm going to try to get up, but my leg's asleep and I just can't. I'm going to, I'm going to charge in that direction. Um, Yeah. That's that's a that's a demon. <laughs> so wherever it came from, I'm gonna hit. Are you gonna kill there. me before I even start? <laughs> you could have just said hi. You didn't have to be all fucking ominous and shit. <laughs> I've lost too much. Not again. <laughs> I'm going to give you one more chance, motherfucker. Cool trick, <laughs> but mine's better. I'm real good at killing you. Step out into the light, or someone's losing their head. So I'm going to step out into the opening, and I'm going to jab my 
staff into the floor and put my hands up and say, any, any of you boys seen a foot around here? I'm sure I saw a foot in the forest. I was chasing it. By thumb. Oh. I think I think I saw a foot. I should have taken the crystals out before you threw it. That was that was on you. <laughs> this is so. not my fault. This is in no way my fault. Uh, yeah, technically that would be our foot. So I, there was definitely a foot then. Yeah, no, there was. I, I'm gonna look down to my left, and I'm gonna go. See, I bloody told you. What are you out here for? Uh, Have I seen you before? Have I met you lot before? I don't, I don't think so. Don't think so. Are you going to try to kill us? <laughs> Should we be worried? I don't. Oh, no interest in killing no one. Sorry about the fire. I know it looks a bit scary. It's just me eyes. It plays havoc with me eyes. I have to turn it down a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't. Turn, no. turn it down? Yeah, you know. For what? <laughs> What do you mean for what? What are you saying? Are you are you are you trying to turn it down for what? Are you trying to catch me out? No. Turn it down for me eyes so I can see. Oh. Okay. Plays havoc. I end up bumping into things all over the place. Why the goat head though? Do you know I've asked myself that question several times. I cast magic and I get and goats and that come up big theme, but I, I have no idea. Do you know anything about it? I don't know much of my own life anymore. <laughs> oh come on, you know about it. You wouldn't have brought it up if you didn't know. You're having me on. <laughs> I just look at Jerry, <laughs> and pleading in my eyes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I just shrug. I don't really know either. Sir, is there something we can assist you with? Well, I was about to ask you that. What are you doing here? There's usually a fella who lives here. Grows a load of plants and that. Do you know him? No, not rightly. I, t- I usually steal his... Well, I wouldn't say steal. I'd say, well, yeah, I steal his, his, his <laughs> missile bobs out the side there when he's asleep. His what? His missly bobs. Just as well, I suppose. Missly bobs. Missly bobs. You mean mistletoe? Well, if you like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just as well. He's dead. Um, uh, yeah, he got eaten by some bears. He, he's dead? He got eaten by some <laughs> bears. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, don't mind me then. And I'm going to just shove past you all and just grab handfuls of mistletoe out and start just filling my pockets. <laughs> do you know? Do you know anything about some some mind controlling vines? I'm going to stop pulling mistletoe. I might do. Why? What happened? Well, the bears that it killed your friend. Well, I wouldn't rightly say friend. I did. I don't think he liked me, to be honest. I think he knew I was stealing his missiles, uh, dog. Whatever these things are. Okay, well, either way, the the vines were, like, in the eyes, and they were, like, kind of controlling the bear. Right, well, now I know you're having me on. You know what you're talking about, don't you? I, I don't know what that sentence means. <laughs> <laughs> Uh no, the, there was vines on the head that went into the eyes. It it made the bears irate. Hold on, hold on. Do they look anything like this? Is his body around anywhere? He's buried. We buried him. You buried him? Cool. You made quick work of that. <laughs> where's he? Where, where's he buried? Just uh, out of curiosity, you know. I just pointed at the pile of dirt <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might, might pop back and have a look at that later um, what, why? Body? he's buried well I mean you don't bury bodies what do you mean you don't bury bodies what do you do with them well harvest them don't you no what <laughs> I'm going to grab my hammer uh, a little bit <laughs> <laughs> Harvest them for what? You know the the tricks and that. 
it, I think you need to, to take us one step further back there. What, what what tricks are you harvesting dead bodies for? Well, I mean, I'm oh, I'm trying to demonstrate one one thing at a time here. Does it look anything like this? And I'm going to cast Entangle on just on the ground by the house, so the vines creep up around the house. They look like the vines from before. <laughs> They look somewhat similar, yes. What what do you do to those bears, dude? I, I didn't touch no bears. I ain't seen any bears for a long time. Wait, hang on. Tell me, could I borrow your hand axe? Yeah. Chop one of the vines around the house in half. Does it bleed black? It does not. Ah, there's the difference. The vines from earlier... <laughs> Bat black goo. These ones don't seem to. I'm going to look down at my left ear and I say, I oh, know. They got me to do it and they just cut them. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. All right. Just give me a second. Uh, look back and uh, so it wasn't me then. So now you believe me, yeah? Like, yes. yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who, are you? Who are you talking to? And why are you harvesting bodies? And why do you live out here in the forest? Didn't you live in the forest? So many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll back a second there. Who am I talking to? <laughs> the fairy black shadow here. Oh, he's gone. He's He pops. Where is he? Oh, sh- he comes and goes. He's got his own mind. But he'll be back and you'll see him. There's been no one there this whole time. You realize that, right? Like, are you just having me on? I don't know what that means. Like, are you playing games? Not, not currently. No. Yeah. There's what? What's it supposed to be? There was nothing there. It's a furry guy with with horns. Follows me around everywhere. Except from sometimes oh. he just goes away. He's not, he's, there's been no one there this whole time. It's just Oh, no, come on. I know you're, you're just playing games. Look, it's enough of this nonsense. What was, what was the next question? What was the next question? Why are you harvesting bodies? I mean, why would you not? It's value, isn't it? Value. Got to get value out of it. To, to who? Is this the same sort of mentality that hunters have when they use the pelts and bones and everything from an animal they kill? Exactly, yeah, exactly the same thing. you got to, like, you know, if you're going to take something down, you may as well get the most out of it. And there's a lot of value on a body, you know. You can take bits of it, do do tricks with it. What what sort of tricks do you do? Well, I mean, I just showed you my vines. What more do you want? I, c- I can show you some more tricks if you want. I'm going to put out some more grass out of the floor. I'm going to mix it with some mistletoe in my hand and I'm going to crush it all up in my hands. I'm going to toss it into the air and I'm just going to look at it as it falls onto the floor. I mean, it doesn't always work, to be honest. (laughs) (laughs) But that's what you need the bodies for, isn't it? I love love him. (laughs) Um... Uh, He's insane. Look, we're we're on our way to East Runewood. Do you know where that is? East, East no. Well, what's what is it? It's a town, East Runewood. Oh, what the town round here? Yeah, I know Broomwood. No, Runewood. Yeah, 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 Broomwood. Yeah, yeah, I know it. Yeah, it's just we're not far. Oh. That's good. Like, how how far are we? What? You don't know this, Talmor? <laughs> <laughs> we just started heading south through the forest. I don't know where the fuck I'm at. <laughs> Your name's Talmor, is it? Yeah, that's my name. All right, Talmor, I'm Bo. But then you know that, don't you? Why would I? Oh, come on. We can drop all this now. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, but I, I mean, yeah, it's not far. It's not far. I, I mean, I could take you if you want. Yeah, that'd be sure. Great. All right, follow me. Let's, let's go then. 
right now. It's just oh. the middle of the night. We were just about to go to bed. Well, suit yourself. I'll see you there then. <laughs> oh no, wait, I'm taking so- you and I. <laughs> Yeah. Should we get our heads down and we'll go in the morning? And I, 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 I should probably tell you now, I'm not so clever in the daylight. But, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. I'll take you. That's it's fine. Right. <laughs> I can. Okay. Okay. Uh, what were you doing out this late in the first place? Oh, I was coming to steal some of that missile, Bob. Oh, I say right. steal. What I really mean is just pick some and take it. <laughs> what do you use it for? I thought we'd been through all this. <laughs> it's for the tricks. Hey, tell more. Is your mate here a little bit slow? <laughs> yeah, because he had. He had <laughs> it is. I've seen a foot. <laughs> it, yeah, it's his foot. Yeah. Well, what have you taken your foot off for? Yeah. <laughs> what have what what? <laughs> was you trying to cast tricks with it? Because that's what I was chasing it for. No. Because I saw it, and I, the first thing that I thought was like tricks. You know, Cr- crush up the toenails. I I really don't. I, I really don't know. Uh, why don't why don't we get some sleep and we'll we'll get in and out in the morning. Right, what, what, what before I sleep with you lot? What are all your names? Uh, I'm Goshen. Nice to meet you, Bo. See, he knows my name. I knew it. He knows my <laughs> name. You all know my. You all know me, don't you? No, you said you said your name earlier. Yeah, you might have a point there. Sorry, sorry. What what was your name? I'm I'm Jerry Jerry Almond. Almond, lovely. And what about <laughs> and what about you? I'm just gonna turn around. <laughs> that's that's Ordok. He has a mood problem. Yeah, I've noticed that. He's also only got one leg. Has someone told him? <laughs> I think I think he knows. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna assume he knows. Well, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you all, see you guys around then. You'll you'll no doubt be back this way soon, won't you? No, you're you're leading us to East Runewood. Oh, come Runewood, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on then, let's go. <laughs> but we're gonna sleep first. Oh, of course. Yeah. All right. So. What race do you look like? Or like, what, what do you look like? <laughs> yeah, give us a description. <laughs> so, three foot tall. Of course. Got, got brown hair. Uh, essentially, like an offspring from a dwarf, but I haven't got a beard, and I'm quite rather than be like stocky, I'm actually quite thin. Hmm. And I've got kind of translucent skin, like really pale, bluey translucent skin. And white eyes with no pupils. Sort of milky. I have white eyes with no pupils. I have blue skin. (laughs) And he's part of the party. (laughs) Yeah, so I'm wearing like various hides to like make up my armor. But it's all just kind of, you know, like rabbit stitched to a bit of a deer, stitched to a bit of a fox or whatever. It's, It's pretty like all over the shop. And I've got like just a small collection of like bird skulls hanging off my belt, and that's pretty much what I look like. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna sleep and then in shifts get packed out. No <laughs> worries. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to sleep in shifts. We'll be alerted if there's any danger. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry? The staff will tell me. <laughs> oh, that's not weird at all. <laughs> and I thought I was losing my mind. Am I asleep right now? <laughs> <laughs> Wake up and your foot's back on. 
<laughs> We're still at the end. <laughs> it's all just been a bad dream. But you still have the dice in your pocket. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to trust you. I'm going to go to sleep. Your staff can tell us. I'm going to quickly just pull my staff back out of the ground and uh, just sort of lay on the floor where it is and just fall asleep straight away. Uh, I'm just going to um, contemplate for a while and like stare at Goshen's staff and then like look down at my hammer and shrug and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have pockets in these pants? Do you uh, even have clothes on at this point? <laughs> I was going to say, like, wait, what are you wearing <laughs> Actually, again? Am I, I think the last thing I remember doing, we had the fire cult of stuff on. But I took that off, <laughs> yeah. didn't I? You took that off when you saw that most of them were killed in the first in the first ring of the, of the Right, tower. and then Tower picked up the dead people stuff, but hasn't got a chance to clean it yet. So I don't think I'm wearing that. No. Yeah, I haven't So I think I have yet. pants on. <clears throat> Yes, and the 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 ribbon around your my band, yeah, uh, your yeah, your brain. I put the staff down my pants then. <sighs> Keeping man, there's a stranger in the party. He has a staff. I have a staff. I like my staff. It's shiny. <laughs> I'm gonna look over at Jerry just to like make, make eye contact. What a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then just just fall asleep just <laughs> oh dear god okay so <laughs> a lot to process <laughs> i'd like to take a minute here to tell you about this week's sponsor studio headphones they are a Swedish company based out of Stockholm creating amazing audio devices. With high quality materials and a sleek minimalistic design, they are not only comfortable and sound great, but look great too. I use the Regent Bluetooth over-ear headphones as my daily drivers and I can't be more happy with them. I listen to almost exclusively podcasts and the clarity and sharpness you get from them just can't be beat by any other Bluetooth headphone I've used. Right now, as part of our sponsorship with Studio, we are able to offer our listeners a 15% off discount on any order as well as free worldwide shipping with Studio by using the code DICE at checkout. If you get a pair, let us know what you think. And as always, thank you all and thanks Studio for sponsoring the show. This week's episode is brought to you in part by Easy Roller Dice. They are a great customer-focused tabletop gaming company specializing in products from gamers, educators, and all other professions. They have a full collection of beautifully crafted dice, as well as a whole inventory of great gaming materials to suit your every gaming need. Go on over to their website and check out their full list of amazing products, and while you're there, add something to your cart, because our listeners are receiving a special 15% off discount code when you enter DDP15 at checkout. That's DDP as in Do or Dice Podcast 15 at checkout to receive 15% off your entire order. So, as always, thanks a bunch to Easy Roller Dice, and thanks to you guys for listening, and enjoy the rest of the episode. The night goes by quite well. Uh, nothing comes at you, nothing wakens you, no more goat heads and fires. You awaken as the sun starts to shine through the canopy of the trees. Good morning. <laughs> Do I have all my things? <laughs> yeah, you have all your things. <laughs> okay. Good start so far. What's good about it, Goshen? Ugh. We didn't die. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well. Should we have breakfast and then get going, or? Well, if it's close, we might as well just get going, and then we can have some of that 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 bread at the end. <laughs> Snacks for breakfast. Is it like, is it within a day's travel? Like, how close are we? Uh, I mean, well, time's a funny one, isn't it? Because sometimes. <laughs> You feel like it's a long time, but it's a short time. But sometimes you feel like it's a short time, but it was a long time. 
that didn't answer my question <laughs> at all. Well, I mean, if we get going now, I reckon we'll be there by later. Before the next nightfall. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I would have thought so, yeah. The things that you just said in that sentence were contradicting. <laughs> Can't contra what? <laughs> and, uh, how about we just start going? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's get going. All right, then. Follow me, then. And um, I'm going to pull out another handful of mistletoe, and I'm going to just chuck it up into the air. I'm going to look at the way it lands and I'm going to sort of rearrange a few of them on the floor a little bit so that they're pointing in different directions. And then I'm going to say, yeah, yeah it's this way. Come on in. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to walk off in a random direction. <laughs> Do, uh, can I roll a survival check to see if like... I mean, is he walking east? Like, we, we sort of have a general idea of what direction we need to go. That's true. <laughs> South is he walking in kind of the right direction? Yeah. Okay. Do you not do you not trust my tricks? I told you. Look, the greenery's told me where to go. I'm going to snap up a handful of mistletoe and throw it in the air and, like, wait till it lands and be like, look, it says to go that way now. <laughs> you haven't got the touch. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just pick this thing up overnight. I'll, I'll teach you if you like. Are you interested in religion? <laughs> <laughs> Not in yours. <sighs> no. Mm, suit yourself. What religion? What religion is yours exactly? Well, the shadow. Oh, it's still gone again. Whatever you like. Uh, it's just tricks, isn't it? Is it? it are you telling us? That you just do whatever this small, furry, black goat creature tells you. That's how your religion works? He's got it in one. He's a fast learner, isn't he? <laughs> he, might, he, might look, he might look like slow and that, but he's not, is he? <laughs> <sighs> Tell more. I, uh... I think you should lead us back home, buddy. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be silly. I know where Broomwood is. Come on. Let's go. He's, <laughs> he's going, but he's going in the right direction. So <laughs> Through pure chance alone, <laughs> we're following the breeze. Yeah, you, you can call it chance if you like, but well, I've, I've, seen to, I've seen to meant too many things. Let's just, let's just follow him for okay. now. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> As you guys are walking through the forest, <laughs> is anyone having any conversations? I'm going to kind of head back with Jerry. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Oh, what do you think of this guy? Uh, he's insane. Yeah, no. <laughs> but is he actually, when he says tricks, is he talking about magic? Uh, I think so. I'm almost certain that was magic he did to the fire. Um, yeah. But I'm a little worried about where it might be coming from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm worried. He's talking <laughs> about religious magic from a invisible goat. <laughs> if I had to guess, it sounds like he made a pact with, like, a devil. <laughs> should, should we kill him now, or...? <laughs> Before he gets too powerful, I can just walk behind him and literally snap his neck. It won't be that hard. He's tiny. That seems a little wrong. He hasn't done anything wrong yet. Well, yeah. Neither did Elon, and then he did. I mean, Elon kind of started with like burning down the whole town. <laughs> well, well, that's what I'm saying. He wasn't bad until he was bad. This guy hasn't done anything bad yet but then he will that's how psychopaths work well how do we know that any of us won't become bad i've been thinking about what you said about maybe us being the villains for all it's really bugging me <laughs> <laughs> tell me about it i don't i'm all messed up i don't you know what you like you said we all know why we're here whether it be wrong or right i guess we'll just be the heroes or the villains of our own story. 
Well, I'm I'm right here with you. Oh, I'm gonna say like in the back of the pack these days. I think uh, head up the rear. Stay away from the little guy. I'll uh, I'm I'm actually gonna walk up to Bo and uh, say, "How's it going?" Yeah, I'm all right. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I uh, I want to ask you a question, and I also want to ask you a favor. Is that all right? Yeah, of course it is. Anything for you. Okay. Yeah, well, excellent, excellent. Uh, What's the chance that you could talk in full sentences without just glancing over things? Is that like a thing that could happen? (laughs) I'm not following, but we can give it... You mean you want to talk to me? Yes, I would very much like to talk to you. Could you tell me a little bit more about your, uh, your shadow friend? He's interesting to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll be around. Or you could ask him yourself, but I can tell you, you know, what I know of him. I don't know if I can. But I'd just like to hear it from you. Well, I mean, I've been out in this forest for a long time, and uh, I woke up one morning, and there he was. And he was just sort of like made himself at home. Started talking to me. I was quite surprised because I'd tried talking to animals before and none of them had ever talked back. So I, obviously at first I didn't really try and talk to him. And then after a few hours of sort of sitting obviously. awkwardly mm-hmm. staring at each other, he sort of said, you're all right then, Bo. And I was, I, was a bit to, I was a bit taken aback by that. He knew your name immediately. I would be taken <laughs> aback as well. I know, especially because Bo's not even my name. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's, what's your name then? Well, I mean, I don't really rightly know. Later on, the goat told me that it was T Bower, but I really didn't have a name. Hmm. Okay. So it's definitely a goat. Yeah, he's definitely a goat. He's, I've seen goats before. I've done a few in, you know, for dinner and that. Oh, but this one was fine with that. Didn't have a problem with dinner goats. No, he's he's he's, he's quite happy. He doesn't partake. He eats, <laughs> he eats just grass and veg and that. Hmm. Okay. And Tibo, uh, why don't you know your name? Well, it's a funny one. I don't really. I woke up and just you know, here I was in this forest. And I've not really had any friends. I mean, I've had friends. I've had loads of friends. Don't get me wrong. None of them really called me by any names or anything. I've not really had a lot of company. People come and stay with me sometimes, and then they go. And then you harvest them? I've done it sometimes, but generally I find them that way, and I just take what I need. And does the goat tell you to do that? No, I just sort of do it. It's like a compulsion. Interesting. He's a psychopath. <laughs> I've always, I've always had the, you know, the knack with tricks and that, and then, and I've always had the knack with knowing what makes a good trick. But the thing is, I don't really know where it came from. Like I say, I, I just sort of wound up out here in the forest. Well, it's been uh, fascinating talking to you. What about you? Have you always had one leg? Oh <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I. Do unfortunately only have one leg. So what happened there then? Yeah, it's uh, uh, an accident in a tomb. So how comes it was up and around then? Honestly, Bo, don't really know. <laughs> and you're, you're a religious man as well, are you? I am, yes. So me and you, we're quite similar, really. Really not. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. The, the weird monkey-looking fella. The monkey-looking fella? <laughs> who are you referring to? The furry one, back there. There's no... We don't have any furry... I'm going to glance back at the party and see where he's pointing. Wait, is is Goshen actually furry? He He's... A little furrier than he was yesterday. Well, he, he's got blue skin, yeah? That's true, yes. The big fella, he's got eyes a bit like mine. That's true. You're religious. 
also true. What's that other one, dude? That's like me because I think I'm still not. I'm still not convinced that you're not all just. Are you really real? Can uh, can you show me something that makes me think that this isn't just you know the goat playing tricks? Because he's not been around since I've met you, and I've got a feeling he's pulling one over me. Um. <laughs> so well, how would I convince you that I'm real? I can't tell you that, can I? Because otherwise it won't work. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fair point, actually. <laughs> I'm a little concerned that you're making sense. <laughs> <laughs> Am I real? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to, like, reach out and just, like, shove him lightly a little bit, just, like, in the shoulder, just, like, so I push him back, like, half a step or something. It's funny that, because when I said to the goat about it, and I said, you know, because I've had this same conversation with the goat, and he butted me up the butt. So I definitely know you're real then. Excellent. Because he's definitely real. He's got he's got quite a strike on him, the little fella. Yeah, I, I would think that a goat does. Next time next time you see him, you could just let me know. Just like a little shout. A little shout's all I need. Yeah, do you want to have a chat? He's quite friendly. Yeah, I would. I would... I would love to have a chat with him. He's a bit negative. Ah, who isn't? Well, yeah, I've sort of noticed you are a bit. No offence, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? No, I just lost my foot like two days ago. I found your foot, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it's going to stay lost. Oh, okay. Well, we're almost at this Broomwood place. What, what, what are you doing in Broomwood, anyway? Uh, we're returning from there. We we travelled to West Spring, the town that was on the other side of this forest. Are you familiar? No, I've not been that far. Mm. To be honest, I'm not, not, not a fan of towns. Mm, why is that? bit busy but you know I, I don't rightly see that well so it's a bit complicated to navigate sometimes I tried going into this Broomwood a few times before and I just wound up bumping into people and you know they didn't like me so I just I don't really but if you said you came from here how come you can't get back <laughs> uh, that's a question for Talmor if they get in the back Tell more. Uh, yeah. If you came from this town, why can't you get back? Because fuck you. <laughs> what did Ordok say? What, what do you... You know I'm under stress, Ordok. <laughs> why are you going to tell the new guy? To... <laughs> it's, 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 it's okay, Talmor. It, it'll, be, it'll be fine. <laughs> Bo, look what you've done. You've upset him. <laughs> Sorry, Talmor. Uh, uh, I, okay. I, I, I didn't mean to upset you. It's okay. It's probably Ordok's fault anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As you guys are walking, continuing walking through this, anyone else have anything? Hey, guys, you remember that um, that bedtime story I was reading you? Uh, yes. Yeah. That you stopped reading us because it was sad and depressing. Yeah, it was. It got it. It got better. Turned out. Um, but uh, the lady, the elf lady that we found in the tomb, apparently she laid the egg, and apparently she's the empress from you know about two hundred years ago. C come again. Uh, yeah. So the uh, uh, empress ran away. With her firstborn, um, and she wanted to have more kids. wasn't working out for her. You heard that part. Um, and they were trying to, you know, stay secret and didn't want people to know who they were. So she's calling her boy Ayan. He makes mention of that for some reason. So we might want to look out for that name. Um, and then she ended up having a kid. But he turned into an egg. He, tur he turned into the egg. He into, I think, this egg, and I pulled the egg out. How, how, 
How does a baby turn into an egg? Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that one. I don't know. It was really weird. Um, but she named it. Uh, she named it wait, wait, Alia? Wait, 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 wait. Could you uh, run that first name by me again? Uh, yeah. A-N? A-Y-Y-E-N. Does it describe him at all? No. Nah. Um, I'm. I was thinking about. It. He's got to be half elf, I think. Right. He. He would have to be. Uh The uh, the name is familiar. Okay. Well, that's really uh, shifty. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> he, my order. My I was trained by an A N. So you know that's the <laughs> thing. Was he? I a, mean, Nick, was he a half elf? Yes. Oh, was he old? Older than me. How old are you? Don't ask that question. <laughs> um, <laughs> so shifty. Pretty <laughs> shifty. <laughs> old enough to be offended by that question <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's so, that's what i read in the journal last night guys i have a confession to make um yeah the the bomb that killed nim and elon uh i made it out of the empress's skull <laughs> you did what that's I, horrifying. I grave robbed. I grave robbed her head and then stuffed it with griffin grease and dragon blood or drake blood, and 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 then stuck some crystals in it. And we made the, the bomb that destroyed the tower out of the empress's skull. And I feel really bad about it now. I feel like we may have all overshared a bit. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, new team rule, uh, no more desecration of bodies. Yeah. Your team sounds a bit funny. We're <laughs> 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 uh, sharing secrets. You know how I got this stuff? Yeah. 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 It's uh, maybe taking an interest in things that I haven't before, which... Kind of led me to grab this, and I pulled the tiara out of my backpack. <laughs> I fucking knew it! <laughs> I knew I didn't lose it. We were right. He did take it. So shifty. <laughs> As this, I'm gonna I'm gonna snatch it out of his hands. Try to <laughs> put it. I'm gonna put it with the dress. Why? Why you gotta? Why you gotta be so shifty? I don't know why I took it. I was surprised with myself. I did. I was embarrassed. This may be a weird time to ask this, but do we have a treasurer? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't like that question. Tamar's like, no, I have everything. <laughs> well, I just wanted to know who to give this to. The sixteen gold out of the box from the dead guy. We oh. found it in the cabin, <laughs> so it's also shiny. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> how about how about you just hang on to that one, and anytime you're feeling the urge for shiny things, just go ahead and look at some of the those coins. So, the Empress's son, the the heir to the Shattered Kingdom, or I guess it wouldn't really be the heir, would he? Because his dad blew it up. Was it like the Galen Empire? Um, is a monk now, and quite a powerful one too. Okay, and his brother's an egg. And then the empress, yeah, the empress ran off and had an egg with the with Komar, and we destroyed that tomb. How does a baby <laughs> become an egg? Thank you. That's what I want to know. 
I say we hatched a little shit. <laughs> I want to... It, that can't be alive, Do you right? you know how to hatch elf eggs? Elves don't lay <laughs> eggs. I've, I've... El- elves don't lay eggs. Apparently this one did. <laughs> you might want to read that particular section. How does a baby become an egg? <laughs> can... A baby is a baby. I mean, I can read the section to you if you want. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That would be great. Are you including me yet? I assume you're... I mean, yeah. I'm just kind of like talking while we walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. We have Goshen. We trust him. <laughs> if we can trust him, we can trust anyone. <laughs> I think Jerry was just chatting. So, like, if he were paying attention, okay. and then the conversation just spun out of control. So. <laughs> mm. hey, here, let me let me read this for you guys. She's birthed a child in I don't know how to say this word. Call call call. But not a call I have ever seen. The membrane was thick and opaque. I could not make out the infant within. Try as I might, I could not pierce the membrane enveloping the child. With each passing minute, it became more solid and patterned. The Empress screamed for her child, reached out for it, and with hesitation, I relinquished it to her. With screams of anguish or joy, I do not know, she gripped the now solidified call to her breast. With a sob and a tearful smile, she named the child, breathed her last, and was gone. Okay, out of game, real quick, John, yes. just for everybody in the audience, can you describe what a call baby is? Um, sometimes when, during birth, the the, the sack isn't... The, the water doesn't break, basically. Oh. So the embryonic sac. Exactly. So it's still, yeah, it's still around the child. So the doctors have to pierce it, pretty much break the water, break the water on their own. So this she so she she birthed normally, and it started to solidify. So it was a live birth, but the call hardened and became an egg. So the baby turned into an egg. Yeah. Yes. So that's how the baby turned into the egg. The, the baby was born with the embryonic sac around it, mm-hmm. and then that's what a call baby is. And then, except they don't normally <laughs> turn into eggs. No. Yeah. No. no. Usually not. Yeah. <laughs> Very rare. No. They never. <laughs> So that that's just for everybody's clarification, just so we're all on the same page. And that was like 200 years ago, right? Yes. Yep. Oh, yeah. It actually has a year here. Um, the 4th of Ochid, 869. What year is it? 1027. So, yeah, roughly 200 years. Yeah, give or take. After. Yeah. As you know, oral history does. Yeah. So, baby <laughs> becoming egg makes a little bit more sense now. Well, that's disturbing. So, that's a baby that you're carrying. Well, I mean, I kind of figured that. That's what most eggs are. But just didn't think about that yeah. kind of baby. Whatever kind of baby that is. Uh, I'm going to reach in my bag and hand him the two orange crystals I have left. <laughs> um, if they, If they do anything, you know... It, that's a baby in there. And so if these can help at all, then we should try to help the baby if it's still in there. So put the orange crystals in the bag. I don't think it'll just hatch. Goshen, you're a master? Is that the appropriate term? Just... Yes. Given this new information, does that shed any light on... His actions? Is he... I realize he's in a monastery and training people, but is he making a vie for power? He's never seen the sort. He always followed the uh, the rules, the laws set down by the dragon before him. And the other Grand Masters work with him. He didn't do anything out of the ordinary, but I could tell. Taught me how to make maps. Taught me how to fight. And Jerry, in the journal, it says that she lost the first child. No, no, no. She she had her her first kid came mm-hmm. with her to see Kamar, which makes me concerned for your master's mental well being. Well being. He uh, watched her die. Mm. It just says at the end of this passage that uh, he sent the boy away to a trusted colleague in the south. Okay. I'm worried about my sanity after all this. <laughs> what the 
fucks that goat I want to make a deal now too. Oh man, what a good episode. As always, go us. Uh, but hey, before you go, I'd like to steal another little bit of your time here and talk some more about studio headphones. Whether you end up getting the Regents, Nivea, or Vasa, <laughs> wow, what weird names, uh, you won't be disappointed in the quality you receive. With most of their products clocking in at the $100 mark, a 15% discount adds up pretty fast. And honestly, they really are worth every penny, in my opinion. We don't want to load down your favorite show with ads, so in picking our partners, we always want to make sure that they are relevant to our audience. And I truly believe Studio Headphones, at least in my opinion, make the experience of this podcast better. If I've convinced you at all to check out their site, linked in the description, and you end up buying a pair, use code DICE at checkout to get that discount and free worldwide shipping. You are all awesome, and we want to thank you for listening, and as always, thanks Studio for the sponsorship. Rolling dice by hand is so difficult, and it makes my arms so tired. If only there was an easier way to roll dice. There is an easier way to roll dice, with a dice tower. A dice tower? What's that? It sounds like something that's cheaply made, and not very pretty to look at. Ha <laughs> ha, you couldn't be any more wrong, small childlike voice. Wormwood Gaming sells high quality, wooden, dice towers, dice trays, and much, much more. You can find them at wormwoodgaming.com. And if you use promo code do or dice upon checkout, you can get free domestic shipping wherever you are in the U.S. That's what domestic means. Golly gee, this is so much better than rolling by hand. And it looks amazing too. And it tastes good. Mmm. Uh, you probably shouldn't eat the... Mm, never mind. Remember, that's do or dice upon checkout. D-O-O-R-D-I-C-E.